Knights of the Old Republic, blind playthrough, so let's get back to it. Oh, that is really, really loud for me. The music, like, starts quiet and then it gets louder, so I turn it up and then it gets really loud, and it's a lot louder than it needs to be, so that's weird. Alright, let's see what levels I can do here. Um... I think I want to become a Jedi, <clears throat> so I'm going to add more into Wisdom. I don't need to yet, but I think it'll be good. And then, darn. That's one. What about computer use? I won for every four points? What? Man, that is a lot. Okay. I kind of wish I could take it out of stealth. I think I should have a thing in awareness because so far I haven't run into any stealth enemies, but I think it'll be good to have at least one of those for now. Just in case. Alright, let's see what feats there are. What's this? Uh... Improved empathy. Yeah, I almost wonder if I should keep doing that. This is critical strike. I mean, those are pretty good, but... I wish I knew more about what I should, like, what paths I should follow. Like, like it doesn't seem like this tree is very massive. It just goes to three, so... It's not like I won't have any chances to fix it later on, but two weapon fighting, caution, uh, yeah, well I'm gonna go with empathy for now. Oops. There we go, 112 health, that's good. Four will, nine forty, I don't even know what those mean. Okay, what am I doing here? Why is this still quiet? All the side quests failed. Darn. Oh well. Okay, so. Karth Kandarus, I think it's here. Yeah. No. Okay. The Eben Hawk? No. What do I do? I must have to. Okay, I must not have an objective. Uh, let's go talk to people then. Grashi Manaman Atota Haki Jukrata Bola Shui Tongatong Jung Kachi Kun Ita Haldonga Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo Kachi Chu Ita Botolpa Da Bongwale Kanduna Gugu Chuchut Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo Hmm, okay. Uh, can I even go in those doors? It looks like I can go in one of them, but let's go down here. I hope this planet isn't as boring as the Sith tortured Jedi prisoners until they give in to the dark side. This isn't as boring as the last planet. Padawan, why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honor traditions of our order?
My name is Belaya. I have come here to further my learning in the ways of the Force. Many Jedi come here to train under Master Ja. Any who belong to the Order should surely know this. You must be neglecting your studies, Padawan. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Why would I say I'm not a Padawan? No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> like, why would I say I'm not a Padawan? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, so I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know why my frames are dropping on a game this old. Door. Ajuta. Ah, do I even have a hundred credits? Do I want to try the decks? Oh, I have more than enough credits. Ah, why not? I'll give you a digital copy as a bonus, so I'm gonna dread the days when they start saying that to us. I'm not wagering much. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do. Let's do 10. Alright, so... Uh, available cards. Um, this is plus 5. And then, I don't know. I don't know what to do, so choose side deck. Oh, I guess I just have to choose all of them. I don't know. Play. Do I not have enough cards? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, I had two of those? Oh, okay. Um, I guess one of those and then one of those, because I'm guessing things that are minus are good to have. Let's get rid of that then, I guess. I don't know. Uh, he puts down a five. Oh, that's me. Do I have to match 21? What do I do? happen there. I guess I'll have to read the rules later. Metapack, antidote kit, thank you. Knights of the Old Republic, so I had to stop the video short, although I'm probably going to uh, mash them together so there was no reason for me to say Knights of the Old Republic, so let's just pretend I never even ended the video. Me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some why are you bothering? My rude behavior? Why don't you guys lock your doors then? Can I open that up? No. I wonder if I'm gonna see... No, no. I probably wouldn't see anyone from the Star Wars movies because, uh... It's probably in a different time. I have no idea when this is actually taking place. Hello, Karth! They're waiting for you inside. 
Well, okay. I'm gonna go over to the training room first, just to see what's in here. Nothing besides a workbench and a computer. I should upgrade my things, let's see. Why not? Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? <laughs> such pride, such <laughs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. 
So there was a cutscene there, but I found out you can't actually see the cutscenes. I don't know if you can hear them, but anytime the thing goes blank, it's a cutscene that you're not seeing because Fraps for some reason won't record it. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. <sighs> okay. Darn. Ah. Uh... That's a big gun. Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Okay.